call this meeting to order. Christian Stanley on here. December 4th, 2019. Select board meeting here at 6.30. We will roll into our consent agenda. We have uh, several warrants to sign. AP2022S, AP2022, AP2021, PR2012, and PR2011. We have a common victualler uh, license going to hot oven. Can I ask that you hold on that? They are coming in. Oh, we can hold on that, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then we have a cable advisory committee <coughs> appointee of Linda Hanna. And that is all. Can I have a motion? So that appointment would be till June 30th, right? June. Right, to finish yeah, out the fiscal yeah. year. June 30th. Mm -hmm. Do we have any um, contact information for Linda? <coughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Could you share that with me? Because they were looking to. Uh, uh, the people that are going to be doing some things for the open houses of the library and the senior center, senior center we're going to be doing the college. And they were looking for some pictures. I'll be, I'll be happy to send so, her information over to you. Yeah, or even if we could just ask Linda to, we can give her my contact. Okay. You have it? I do. Okay. So Jennifer, you said to um, hold on the common deck? Yes. What is, what is Hot Oven? Hot Oven is a new cookie shop that's going in at the mall in the old Sabaro location. Um, and they're hoping to open this month. Mm -hmm. um, and so they were coming in to talk to you all about, because they're going to be open in 2019 and it's renewal season. Right. So they were coming in to sort of tell you about their shop and have a conversation about yeah. how to do the application and do they do a full license for this year full license for next year too um i told him it was at your pleasure mm -hmm. so um, but she should be here any minute okay, okay. um so motion to approve the warrants and the cable advisory committee appointment so second just just give me a kick here. i was just going to clarify <laughs> Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we have our public comment period. I don't know if anybody is here for public comment tonight. It doesn't look like it. All familiar faces here. Uh, oh, Mr. John Ms. has Gattis? a public comment. Oh, John. Uh, your decision for the sidewalks in the center of town? Yes. Was it both sides of Route 9 between Middle Street and West Street? Or was it that the state was going to do them? No, that we were going to do like just the what we Re used to do. Yes. So we do need to do the north side of the Route 9. Yes. Because it's, we went through and cleaned everything up, and I actually came with myself because nobody wanted to get in trouble for cleaning the intersections today. So I, so I came and cleaned the four intersections here in the center of town and a few places. They need, we need to get from Middle Street to West Street to clean the West Street sidewalks. Mm -hmm. So at some point you need to do the north side and the south side, just between Middle Street <coughs> and West Street, so it's clear. Mm -hmm. Where they're putting the piles at a couple of the businesses, which need to be the uh, landscaping folks need to be fine, and they won't put snow on the sidewalks anymore, or the businesses need to be fine. And then we can clean. Okay, that could, portion. Do we need could to you identify the um, <coughs> businesses so that we could send them letters? Yes, I talked to Scott and I talked to Chris, and I just wanted to make clear that that's what we voted on. Mm -hmm. Because Chris had thought we were just cleaning the, the school side, not the mm -hmm. north side. Because people cross from oh, one side to the other. Cross, uh, <coughs> the courthouse is okay. all plugged up. Nobody can walk to court when they get off the bus. Yeah. You know, there's other issues between Middle Street and West Street. Mm -hmm. But if we can just maintain those two, I think the I, rest I think we should send letters to the businesses and tell them to have yeah. their plow people. Or just contact, go to those businesses, <coughs> find out who their plow people are, and call them or send them a letter and say, look, Next time you'll be fined X amount of dollars, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, so, so we need to put this on the agenda. 
does. We're now talking about finding yeah. words. We never talked about that before. So. Well, it's all on the books already. It's all yeah. laws that exist in the town of Hadley. Yeah. But we at least need to notify the businesses. Yeah, I think, I think we, we can at least do that. <coughs> Well, put it on the agenda for yeah, next, next meeting. Yeah. <laughs> but we can send the in letters. The, in the meantime, you can talk to your DPW director, and we can still send the letters saying not it. to plow that way. But yeah. in order to bring, I mean, up time, you to to bring that up today when meeting. I was cleaning that intersection and trying to walk over to Dunkin' Donuts, and three corners are clean, and that one wasn't because everybody didn't know what to do with it. So. Yeah. And the hawk signal went off when I was coming on Route 9, and the gentleman crossed with his pizza box, and then yep. he was walking in the road yep. trying to get in. It was pretty scary. I want to thank you for doing the intersection, because you remember last year we had a lot of trouble with seniors and the bus and handicap accessibility up to the, yep. the sidewalk. Uh, so we really appreciate that's being done. The senior center is right there in front of the church right now. Nobody can get across to right. Cumberland Farms. Nobody can just walk down to 66 if you want a coffee. There's, there's a ton of other issues. Mm -hmm. And it took me roughly an hour to do this side just to clean it up. It probably, if you send the right guy in the right <coughs> machine, it would probably mm -hmm. take you an hour, hour and a half to clean the other side. Right. All right. So I have this loaded in for the December 11th agenda. Yeah. <coughs> oh, goodness. Bless you. Um, anything else? Can I just mention one quick thing? Sure. Okay. Um, I just wanted to publicly acknowledge the work that's been done at Town Hall um, over the past several days. Um, a wall has gone up, brand new furniture has arrived, um, and I understand that in large part is due to one particular individual. Thank you, Jennifer, for coordinating. Um, and staying on top and helping people get all the stuff that needed to doing done. So. You're absolutely welcome. And I will say Gary Berg was here over the Thanksgiving holiday right. working on getting that wall up so that yep. there was a brand new office. Good. Well, thanks to Gary as well. Yeah. <coughs> Good. So ending our public comment, are you folks here from Hot Oven? We, yes, we, we are. were. We went through that, but we put it on hold. So if you guys would like to say something in particular, or we'd love to hear from you. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah. Well, we are looking to open a uh, cookie shop at uh, at the mall, and we wanted to ask if we uh, could get prorated for the year, uh, as far as the licensing. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. You've done, you've done that in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, another month this month. Yeah, We're planning year. to be set up, but we want it to be open in, in January. Um, but the mall wants us to be open by mid December. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're also opening a shop at the airport in Connecticut. So we're kind of balancing two things. Yeah. And so we're hoping to be um, open by the 18th, just to have a couple of days before Christmas. So. And there's a very nice article in the new local newspaper. I, I haven't Thank seen you. it yet, yeah, but my mom told me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you for having us. This is a lovely yeah. town. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks for having Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll make a motion to uh, pro-rate. Pro I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very so much. Yes, well, welcome. Free Thank you. At the next meeting. You know, I, was, I, was, I, was, I always lead with cookies, but I don't want anyone to think we're bribing them. <laughs> 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 can't, can't bribe us for just cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I was the cookie maker at the basketball games years ago, so I know exactly. I had my little cookie machine, and yeah. we were all set. Yes. Yeah, so, we're, so we're, we're looking forward to that. Next time we'll bring them for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Thank, yeah, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're welcome to go too. You don't have to hang oh, around. Oh, thank you, you very much. I want to wait for our whole meeting. Nice to meet yeah. you all. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We did first and second. All those in favor? Did I say that? Did you? Yeah. I thought we all voted. Yeah, we voted. Oh. We can do it again. Oh, oh. We, we approved the proration. <laughs> Yeah. You think there's no yeah, we didn't do it on. We, we didn't do it on. Did we have to do their oh, oh, commentatorial yeah. license? Yeah. I had made the assumption they went together, but if you want to make a separate vote, I can. Sure. I'll make okay. a motion that we approve the common vote for Hot Oven. Sure. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
well, I was going to ask, is anybody else coming from the library tonight? Or is it just you guys? Because yeah. oh, yeah. I was thinking of moving that up on the agenda. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I thought maybe we weren't going to. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I was thinking we could move that up on the agenda. So I know at least Haley, Patrick, you guys can go home. So why don't we have Senior Center, Library, and Fire Substation updates? Uh, does anybody want to start? How's it going up there at the fire substation? It's, it's moving along. We have our um, pavement down and the walls are still working on that. And you had something to bring. I did not have a meeting this week. They postponed it until next Tuesday. Okay. So you had something about a change order? Uh, yeah, change order for the... The sprinkler system that's going to go in there? senior center. Oh, the senior center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the fire station. Oh, no, no. No, no. I have nothing else to offer. We're just moving along until I have a meeting yeah. next week. I saw them working on the roof on Tuesday. I was yeah. like, wow, they're really going yeah. down. Yeah, it's going. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Um, on the senior center, we, we do have a change order we to talk about. We do have a change order. We're moving along. They got the paving done before winter came, which yeah. is most yeah. of the paving done before winter came. Where is it not paved? Uh, they haven't. They're doing it this week. Concrete pads for the generator, and they're uh, burying the propane tanks. Okay. Okay. And then we have a. I got to get this change order right. So we've got the change order number zero 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 three zero R one, uh, and this is for the fire protection <coughs> changes at the senior center, and. Basically, this came from revised cost to provide additional sprinkler coverage uh, as requested by the, the fire chief and I believe also the state fire marshal was here as well looking at this. And it's basically, there's kind of a false ceiling, is for lack of a better word. And so the gap between the two ceilings they want to have sprinkled. And then there are also some shaped duct chases that they also want to have sprinkled so do you know what the original um price was on it or this is just an increase in what the original was this is like basically an sprinkled? increase in scope okay so this was not in the original scope this is basically when they went to look at it and approve the sprinkler heads they noticed these areas and said we'd like you guys to have sprinklers in these other areas as well <clears throat> just being proportional oh it was wet and they wanted it dry or something I think yeah. No, the, just no. just the uh, cupolas are dry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they don't want them to freeze yeah. up. But what happened was we have sprinklers in the attic. There's sprinklers in the main floor, mm -hmm. and there's 12 inches between those two. And the fire marshal, state fire marshal, said you'd really be wise to, to sprinkle that too. So that's what this seven. Has it, what it's fourteen thousand nine hundred thirty-nine dollars and seventy-eight cents. Yeah. Still brought them down again for us. We yes. Yeah, it was higher earlier today. So. Yeah. Well, we can't do much about that with the state fire marshal. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we'll do something different. So I'll make a motion to approve the change order. Can I second? Yes. Can I just ask a question, just an informational question? Is that something, I mean, you know, we always listen to your change order saying, ah, is that going to happen to us? Is, is there, should we try to contact the state fire marshal preemptively? No, no, no. Is there uh, anything we can, the, I just. The fire, chief, right. the fire chief brought in, he didn't know about this particular issue. Okay. And so he brought the fire, state fire marshal in for clarification okay. on it. Okay. And I don't know if it was just he's never seen this before, if there's like a code change. I don't Yeah, I'm I don't not judging. Details, I'm just like yeah. trying to, we're always like trying to say yeah. like, should yeah. we? Do you have no. a double layer? Do you have drop ceilings? Well, You're going out? I think we do in we some do areas. We do kind of have a okay. top, and then if that's why I'm listening. So why don't you yeah. just ask Mike to take yeah. a look at it? Yeah, have Mike, yeah. yeah. Mike take a look at it, and if it's something the engineers need to change, then. Yeah, because the sooner we know, exactly. the better. Yeah, yeah. Let me get stuff We're like course. learning from you. Well, and this is tricky because it's like the drywall's going in, so they kind of right. need yeah. to, yeah. to do it. Yeah. Right, I'm yeah. saying if we could know that now, it would be yeah, yeah, yeah. so no, yeah. Okay, thank you. And, and a library will be a bigger fire because there's more books in it. Okay. <laughs> 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 just kid, relax, will you? <laughs> All right, all those in favor. Aye. 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 And that, I believe, is everything we had on the Senior Center, correct? I don't yes. think we had anything else. And then, the library. and then the library, I mean, it seemed 
uh, I'm not aware from the reports of any issues. That seems to be moving along. Um, the one thing that came up, and this is something you know, I just want to toss out and we can think on it and talk yep. about it later or whatever, but um, we, we have an opportunity um, has presented itself. Uh, we discovered, uh, I'm not sure if it was Allison or Patrick or somebody, but found out that um, we have the opportunity, um, if in fact the library moves forward with the solar paneling, there's a $100,000 grant available from the state um, and certain criteria need to be met. And basically, um, the, we have to secure the funding for the solar first, but then the state will come in and give us a check for $100,000. Really? Here. Is it guaranteed or is it you apply <laughs> for it and they have a certain number? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, 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 like it's, it's, it's LEED certification, yeah. so if you're certified with LEED. Then you guarantee get it, right? Yeah. Right. Right. And the, the reality is if we don't have the solar, um, the likelihood of us getting LEED certification is pretty slim. You know, I mean, makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so we were just talking, there, there's private fundraising on the underway um, to try to make that happen. And the total price tag is about a hundred. Um, we don't have a, an exact figure, but we're looking at raising $200,000 mm -hmm. for, for What's this. A rough, what's a rough oh, estimate of a solar to start with? Has anybody come up with that number yet? Ten grand a panel. Ten thousand a panel? How many panels? No, no, it's four. Yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah. it's about a thousand <laughs> panels. Yeah. 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 The cheap ones. Mm -hmm. Thousand a panel. Yeah. I mean, that's that's it's a ballpark figure. I don't have, you know, but that's what we've been told to use as as <coughs> a, as a, a, a best guess for fundraising. Do you it's do you that. have a certain quantity of solar collectors you need to produce what you need to be LED certified? Yes. Okay. And what is that? Uh, I don't have the exact number, but I think we're, we're looking at something like 150. Okay. So one of the thoughts um, that I had in, you know, talked to Linda Sanderson and David and some other folks about was Anything that we can do to, to help secure the funding for the solar? I mean, again, the town is going to benefit from getting $100,000 of somebody else's money brought in. So if we could consider um, kind of doing some accounting maneuvering around the uh, rental uh, costs for the, um, the transition costs associated with the senior center, and just think about we could move that. Um, the seniors at this point, we know, have pretty significant contingency remaining. I don't think we're talking an awful lot of money, David. It was, remember how many thousand? And it depends on what's in and what's out. If you're going to uh, include both the, the partial for uh, 2019 right. and the full rate for 2020, it's about $50,000. About $50,000. Which would less than that. And, and if that could be redirected so that that was, you know, uh, effectively a contribution towards the solar um, that goes a long way in securing putting us that much closer to lead certification and getting that hundred thousand dollar grant so it's something I just wanted to, yes. to put out there um, and we can crunch a few more numbers with Linda or whatever but it, it almost seems like a no-brainer I mean it you know the senior center is not going to obviously at this point run out of the money that they've had allocated it's a relatively small portion of the remaining contingency for them and it's going to garner another hundred grand of, of new money into the town. So, mm -hmm. how big is the roof on that new library? That's that's a hundred panels, a thousand bucks a piece for a hundred thousand dollars. How many panels are you going to put up on that? It was designed. The, the architect designed the panels, like originally with the with the original design. Mm -hmm. We right. just with the cost of the building. Mm -hmm. We, we, they were kind of our top. You know, if they're, they're aiming for 200000 you only need 100 of that'd be like matching funds. You know? Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, why not, why not grab the 100 you know? <laughs> So, people amenable to thinking about that? And again, we can have Linda come in with exact numbers or whatever and figure out. But yeah, I think that uh, <coughs> it could be a good benefit for the town to get the lead certification for the library. I mean, I see that as a great item. 
and uh, you know I think on the senior side the concern is just wanting to think that this is something where they can help it's kind of a clean way to help but not necessarily something where we want to be like, dipping into the library or the senior center funds you yeah. know to try to help along the way so just kind of I think this is a great use of that money but also trying to make it so that if we can save money on the senior center project we can save money there and then at the end I mean who knows if we need more money for the library or other projects yeah, that could happen at the end of the project I mean if you look if you looked at all of it I mean I think even with the fire substation we were very conservative mm -hmm. and where it sits we certainly could have done solar panels on top we, we are putting on a uh, metal roof mm -hmm. uh, we certainly could have taken money out of our budget and put solar on that also but we did not because we've been conservative about that mm -hmm. the building is not going to be in use as much as mm -hmm. of course the senior center and the library are going to be in use so uh, we did not even contemplate doing that mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I don't think it's a bad thing for us to consider doing to our buildings making them more energy neutral you know leaning mm -hmm. toward that way but you know, I know the incentives for and what's the this, life, is a, this is what's the best the solar life, incentive I've heard of what's for the municipal life expectancy building. of these panels. Probably 30, 35 years is usually I'll what they say. I'll be gone. Seems like they're updating. Sorry. I have a constitution. They've come a long way. Each panel has its own controller now, so they're. Better system, They're a much better it. system. And then so the one the panel battery cost too, though. Yeah, but replacement costs nothing either. From what I've been talking to the solar people, about. I think the warranty life is something like twenty years. Yeah, 20, 20 yeah. Years. yeah. So that's mm -hmm. But but if you do have a panel failure, you only have one. All the rest of the <coughs> system's working because the controller is yeah. on each panel now. Mm -hmm. Where there's not a string of like ten in a row that would go out. Yeah. Had the solar had the, not the Christmas light. Had the yeah. senior center thought about putting solar on there? We have, yeah. and depending on where we stand financially at the end of the process, solar is on the back burner. It's on your one of your contingencies. It's 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 <coughs> there, but we want to make sure that we have the building inside the way we need it for the seniors to mm -hmm. be comfortable and I mean mm -hmm. one of our purposes is to have seniors comfortable in the end years of their life mm -hmm. and that means a lot of different things to a lot of people but to seniors it's very specific about what's needed mm -hmm. and so we don't want to be nickel and diming and cutting corners with our ex contingency budget if we're needing things from it and if we have money left then yes we will look at solar. I think the difference in this case is we're actually getting the money back. Like in their case, they'd have to pay for it and not get an immediate grant back. We're kind of at a. I, it's just a benefit. I don't. Yeah, there was no. I don't think we've really found any kind of incentives. Right. There are no incentives for government <coughs> buildings, and yeah. the other issue is they have a heating system that's very different than ours, mm -hmm. and using electric for that is effective. Our payback period does not look like it's cost effective to do solar. And when we get to March or April, we're going to revisit that. Because if it's not cost effective, there's no need to borrow the money to do something that's not earning money. What did you put into the uh, library that's. Uh, they have splits. Oh, you put the splits in? Because we, we plan on solar. But the solar, the solar this is not like a last minute add on. It was conceived of from the beginning that we would have solar panels because the systems were electric. However, the way the bid was set up, the solar panel was one of the alternates. And when the bids came in high, we couldn't accept any of our alternates. Was there Therefore, any benefit from the Eversource about putting in the splits? No, but we've asked them for a grant. We're looking yeah, to do a grant from them for the solar. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, Eversource yeah. is out there saying they'll yeah. do splits. Yeah, we are kind of. That application already went in, right? So Eversource. Yeah. yeah. So there could be a benefit to that. We're you're, hoping that your budget is running it. really tight. Yeah, our budget is tight. Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean, mean, but we're metal frame coming with bricks. I mean, yeah, as Molly and I have talked about, like our building just costs more money to build, and it's just. But you know, why? I'm having a little difficulty with this because <laughs> you were allocated so much money mm -hmm. 
to build the build to build whatever building could have been built there, and and why we're being so tight now with with the money because is because of the steel tariffs. They have a brick building that has to have steel support all through it, mm -hmm. and the tariffs went in in March, and that screwed the them. Train the all the tariffs went. In. Yeah. <laughs> so when our bids came back, they were all close. It wasn't like it, it wasn't like we had a strange bid. They were all tight. Mm -hmm. But they were all so high because of the tariffs. We even contemplated, like, should we go back to bid? But the, you know, everyone said they could. It could get worse. So right. we didn't know the direction was going. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just questions answered. Sure. No, it's a, it's a solid. It's a good question. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. We were surprised. At yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. So what do we want to do? Do we want to? table this and further discussion when we can get numbers from Linda do we want to do anything I think did that makes sense to have the best approach to move forward I guess I didn't know how far you had gotten in that conversation when are you going to find out if the grant is I mean if you're already is there a deadline for, on that is there a deadline we on have it? to have the solar <laughs> in order to so apply the, for the rate certification yeah. process comes after the building is built and then they come out oh, and they go through these checklists of things have you done this have you done and yeah. some of that has to do with the methods used in construction the materials used in construction so at this point you don't they don't certify your building until they can actually see it in action to make sure that you actually did what you planned to do well, so it's met a process after what i'm trying to that. say is it met everything for the last grant so how would it change for this? There, there are two different grants. It's the lead yeah. certification and then the, the what is it, MDLC. Are you asking without the panels why would it not need? No, no, no. I, I just didn't know if you applied for the grant. Oh, no. Our architects, yeah. our architects kind of, we went back to our architects okay. and said, are you sure that if we add these solar panels, it'll like put us over the top because we don't want to come to the yeah. town and then... <laughs> And then say, oh, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if their building needs to be done before this is applied for even, doesn't it make sense to wait because we will be done and then the town has the opportunity to transfer whatever money at their pleasure they want towards the library. Well, the, but the only thing under the purview, and that's why I said this is this is a, a change in accounting, right? Right. But the the bigger money that town meeting voted for, only town meeting can reappropriate right, that. Exactly. And waiting until, like, not doing anything. I mean, the fifty thousand seems to be, quite frankly, just kind of low mm. hanging fruit and put to best use, knowing that you're going to get the matching funds to come in is a hundred percent return on your money. If we say no, we're not going to do anything, that puts us to May town meeting, and it's just right, way too late. too late. If we yeah. have out town meeting in like. February, it would be like a whole different ball of wax. Yeah. I feel like if people want to hold and you know think about it and, and talk about it further next week, that's fine. I mean, to, to me, it just seems like honestly just a common sense thing to do. But um, if you want more specifics from Linda in front of us, that's, that's fine. But you know, I think it, ideally we would have to come to have a decision sooner rather than later because of that time issue. Well, the so let's have one for the next one. Yeah, Howard, in the libraries? Yeah. All of it. We haven't had any change orders as yet. But I mean, we're still. How much is there? Part like 300 or 300 something, yeah. I thought it was 319. I don't know. Right, some of it's accounted for already, right? Yeah, some of it's accounted for. We'll yeah. have to make the decision next week on David. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, we should talk about it a little bit more. If, the, mm -hmm. it, if you're planned better than we are in the senior center, then your contingency you should still hold that 350000 and maybe you can use that one for it. Um, the problems are the contingency budget <coughs> on the library is significantly smaller as a percentage. Yeah, I know, but she just said it was three hundred fifty. So but it, but What's it, the number? 319. Well, yeah, section 319, but we're still so much earlier in the construction. So there are yeah. a lot of the things that can go wrong where these guys are already well on their way with mm -hmm. like, like the body of visual and all of that interior stuff that they're able to. Also, we can't wait till the end, otherwise we you lose the opportunity. won't go on, right? Mm -hmm. like we have to, it's the same reason why we can't wait till the main town meeting. Mm -hmm. It's like we have to make the decision in advance. We don't have to make it today, but we have to make it in advance. Yeah, so, yeah. 
So could we do that? Um, you want to do it? Yeah, I, I, I think we should day? just do it next week if Linda uh, wants to put some numbers. Yeah, I've already put something on the next week's agenda. Yeah, you yeah, are you quick. Just table that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Board docs makes it easy. Just click yeah, I mean, and it says duplicate, duplicate where, click that, it's done. Yeah, I think we still have $480,000 left in the contingency for the senior center. So. Well, next week. So Let's we can talk about it. Look at it next week. David will be here and okay. can get it together. Okay. Anything else there? That's it. No. Okay. Next. How about we move on to license renewals? <coughs> you guys are good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. You're always welcome to stay. You're welcome to stay. I'm glad to know that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> good night. Good night. Party and good sweet sorrow. Wow, how good are they? Hey, Jim. License renewals. You're opening it up. Who haven't paid, uh, Jim? We got until the end of December. Yes, I'd prefer not to trot them out yet. Okay. <laughs> um, but to be clear, there's only about eight of them. Oh, it's not terribly sure. bad. Um, we <coughs> did lose uh, Namco Cyber Entertainment, which was the our arcade at the mall they did not renew oh, right. so that was about five thousand dollars that we but uh, there's a new but uh we had their money last year too so i'm not counting them as a counterbalance oh, okay um that was a really nice year last year with pins coming in yeah. with their i think they have 43 automatic amusements yeah. plus the ones at the mall at the movie theater plus the ones at the arcade we were we were talking i think about almost ten thousand dollars worth of automatic amusements just okay. at the mall so, but that's a change. Um, so everybody on the list is paid in full. There's nothing outstanding with any of them. Um, I am asking that you hold on Chipotle's license until next week. David and I are uh, working on something and I'd like you just to hold on that until December 11th. But everybody else is paid in full and good standing. This is about $90,000? Roughly. Roughly, that's, that's That's my list, that's not your list. I have everything that Mike Pequinot gave me. No, I was just looking at it. We've worked really well uh, with the sewer, water. Uh, I'm sorry, which one? This one? Yeah, no, next one. This one? Yeah. What's wrong with this? Is that Dara? Yes. Oh. He's actually, uh, they're working on selling it and they'll be coming in oh. soon. It'll be your first $100. Um, additional application. Um, so the the new policy of sending a little extra letter telling people that they owe outstanding money to town departments has worked really well with bringing in that outstanding revenue and having them pay their uh, renewals on time. So it's worked really well. Thank you for that. And this will be the year we get to implement that hundred dollar late fee as well. So January 1st. Okay. Old Hadley Flea Market, are we, we, we're good with them as far as their traffic and all that kind of stuff goes for next year? That always comes up in the, in the spring and then, you know, but now is the license for the whole time. And yeah. Well, we work on, we work on making adjustments each, each and every year, I think. Yeah. This past year, it was a couple of days that we right. always and know are going to be really, really bad. Um, we do the best we can with it. Yeah. It, it seems like there's a lot signs up. Uh, like we asked them to up and down the roadway, um, you know, we have to chase people out of there every so often. But he's been pretty cooperative with us as far as, you know, adding the amount of officers that we need to try to handle it. And uh, we just take it Sunday at a time. Some okay. of them are worse than others. Yeah, it seems like there's only a couple that are really bad. That's exactly yeah. correct. It's, mm -hmm. it's usually the first one of the year, and then there's Mother's Day, things like that. Yeah. And then sometimes they correspond with, uh, you know, graduations or, or, or what have you, uh, parents' weekends or whatever. Yeah. Um, just make it really tough. But if it's not raining, it's going to be a sunny day. Those are problems. Right. And we've actually we've actually taken extra steps uh, with Ray um, to actually even watch the weather and try to cancel some of the detail officers or work with him as to whether or not he's planning on opening at all uh, and cancel all of the officers. Uh, we've done 
you know, Mitch does a really good job of tracking the weather the night before and try to make sure that we don't incur any, you know, cause him to incur any costs that he doesn't need to. So Ray's Shala is no longer going to be doing it. His stepdaughter is taking over for him. They're doing a transi transition. Susan Fosco, did yeah. I say that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I informed her very clearly that Though that license comes with conditions set on it that they must meet every condition set forth by the chief of police and the fire chief. It's just a condition of the license that y'all put on it, I think it was two years ago. And she understood and she said that she'd be in touch with y'all if she hasn't already. Yeah. I think, uh, not to speak for the fire chief, but I think he was he had, um, you know, some issues with Ray with some propane things, you know, cooking yeah. devices and things that they weren't registering down there. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, they'll they'll talk and uh, if she reaches out to us, I'll, I'll make sure that she reaches out to him as well. Mm -hmm. Take care of it. Any, anyone else there, please? Mm -hmm. okay. It seems you know, the only one that comes up, I know, and throughout the year. Okay, uh, I guess a motion to approve. Okay, any further discussion? We were just gonna hold on Chipotle, to note that. Mm -hmm. um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then, uh, do we want to do the? I'm just. Well, I was just. Let's do the street light, I guess, River Drive, and planning for fiscal year 2021. I didn't know if we wanted to wait for David on that, or else I'd go to that. Yeah, it's just I'm just that there's a. Oh, this is a itinerary of our. Yeah, just in it, if he had any input on. It. DPW because DPW is the. I thought we were doing that this year, but it looks like general fund. No, stupid. Well, we'll get to, let's well, get to that. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll, let's do that street light business. Yeah, street light. You want it or you so don't want it? That's this is the street light, 300 River Drive. Uh, we put the street light up, and the residents who were requested the street light has said she doesn't. Would, rather not have the street light because it shines in her window. Uh, do you guys have any input or anything to say <coughs> regarding that? Yeah, I know we have a photo here. Yeah, a photo and I spoke for Mike, what do you, what do you, Mike, what do you think? You've been out there with Mitch on, on that. That was a, thought at one point, uh, thought Mitch thought that it was a safety issue. Yeah. Um, on that stretch. So, uh, there is some there's some disagreement as to you know how the light was requested. Um, I don't know necessarily that we need to get into that here. Yeah. Uh, we did we did meet with her. Um, they are agreeing to disagree because she and Mitch were going back and forth via email for some time uh, about some remedies because this isn't the first time someone has crashed into her front yard. Um, so we'll leave that part out of it. But generally speaking. Um, I think it's safe to say that she did want something done. She wanted something done to make it a little bit safer so that people weren't ending up in her front yard. So regardless of what was requested, who requested it, or whatnot, um, Mitch reached out to David and Chris and it was determined that street lights are used for this purpose. They have been used for this purpose in town for years and years. Um, they they do a job and they're put there for a reason. They're put there to light up the roadway so that people can see which way it goes. There's another street light not 200 yards from this one, uh, which was put there and kept on, I believe, when they were shutting off a lot of the street lights for, because of cost. Residents were allowed to pay for the light themselves to keep it on. Uh, some of the residents, like I said, not a couple hundred yards from this new light were wanted to pay to keep that light on for safety. Uh, so we know that, you know, there's a reason for them. We know that they do work. It was decided that this was going to be the action we were going to take. Uh, David uh, and Chris worked it out. They did the work on it. The light was put up. Um, she does not necessarily like how bright it is. The fact that it's an LED and not incandescent is a big difference. That's a big issue. Right. Um, so I don't know whether or not that can be changed, but we have looked into whether or not um, deflectors can be used on it. They cannot be used on that brand of light. Uh, and 
I believe Mitch had uh, the guy from Wemco take a look at whether or not he can angle it anymore. Uh, he looked at it and said that it's straight up and down and it's where it's going to be, basically. So yeah, because then you have a problem blinding the drivers coming down. Right. If you turn it one way or the other, you may be pointing it in someone's eyes while you're driving, yeah. which defeats the purpose. <clears throat> yeah. Is so it's where the new fire station is? No. No, no. no. no it's really it is sun. It? No. Kind of <coughs> sun. It's way up towards Sun. Oh, it's up farther? Near Children's property. Okay. Actually, it's near Linda's property. Right across from Dwyer's. Right across from Dwyer's, yeah. So as I said, you know, leaving the leaving the the uh, disagreement at the beginning out of it, this was the action that was taken by the town. The work is done, and I think one of the big items that the board needs to weigh against Ms. Domolino's uh, objection to the light is that David did reach out to our insurance company, and essentially they said if you put the light up for a reason, then you take it down, and then something happens. You are probably going to own it. No, we're liable for it. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we retain the light as is for safety and for liability. Second. Okay. Do we have any other discussion about this? Did Did the power company say they could lower it a little bit so it's not shining in her? We so did. Yeah. That's about the only option yeah, that, I mean, that you have. It doesn't look like it's got a very good. Uh, so, so uh, Chair Stanley asked me to do a site visit. Uh, Lieutenant Cook is in his efficient way. He did it before I could ask him. Uh, took this photograph, and just so that the board. Yeah, I see. It's pretty hard to see in a picture. Of the news. Yeah. But you so can't see where it shines directly at yeah. our house. Yeah. This is this is late at night. This is the edge of the cruiser. The house is back you here. This is the illumination of the light. The house is not illuminated. Um, so uh, I, I don't think a baffle would be effective because it's not shining on the It does not appear to be shining on the light mm -hmm. on and the house. Maybe, yeah, I don't know if she has her blinds in the house, but that could be effective as well. Mm -hmm. You know, my other bigger issue is we're looking into LED streetlights for the rest of the town. Are we going to be running into these problems if we do run with the LEDs? We only That's have them point. at intersections anyway, John. Well, I know, but there's quite a few there. And if you want my opinion, the reason behind the lights is to light up the roadway. LEDs yeah. are not only cheaper, but they're more they're more effective. They're more they're efficient. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So if I was I, gonna I come through like South Hadley at night it. once in a yes. while and they're real bright, all the ones South Hadley put in. You I I actually slowed down a couple of them because I didn't know what was in the middle of the road. Right. Yeah, so it's a, I mean it's a tough situation, right. but you know, unfortunately. No, just a glare was <laughs> Well, and now because we've already uh, inquired to our insurance, I think that yeah. we have to do that. <laughs> Take a drink. Mm. There, there's also there was, there was also some other some other remedies uh, suggested by the resident, which um, we are <coughs> undertaking. There was some uh, some other things that the DPW can help us with, as far as clearing some some brush and kind of better uh, putting giving better visibility the to the roadway, putting reflectors on some of the guardrails, and these are things that we're doing. Obviously, with two feet of snow falling. <laughs> hampered that but yeah. um, it's not something that we're you know we're just going to stop Chris has the the recommendations so he can as soon as uh, spring hits we can work on that aspect of it as well okay. motion made and seconded all those in favor aye mm -hmm. <laughs> no I'm undecided <laughs> oh man you're really fighting are we abstaining John David? <laughs> <laughs> maybe no, because I'll you work with a DPW I'll, you don't want to vote on this no I'm just going to say no for right now. I'll say I, because I think from the insurance reasons, we, you know, as much as I would like to take it down, I think that we put it up, we've identified it as a problem area, we got to kind of have to stick with it now. Our hands are a little tied, so um, it's it's a tough decision to make, but if, there, you know, if there's it. any other way that, that uh, you know, she can talk to the Power company, as you said, deflecting. They said no, but just lowering it a little bit after seeing the glare of the ones that are up, like I said, in South Hadley and other towns, 
that I've driven by, if, if they're a little bit lower to the ground, that you'd have a little bit less yeah. glare out. She, she doesn't have to do that. We'll reach out. I'll reach out to, to the power company and see if that is something that they see do. What we can they do may that. have, there may be a code that they have certain to be height. a certain height. You know, well, the lowest wire is a simple think, question. Yeah, I think it's got to be 14 feet. So if they're right at that 14 foot mark, then. Too bad. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the legal height. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll set a reminder. We'll reach out tomorrow. We'll see. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Chief. No problem. Uh, all right. So let's go into MMA meeting, and then we'll wait, wait for the uh, fiscal year 2021 for last year. January so. 24th. January 24th and 25th in Boston. Last time at the Heinz, we're going to be selling that building. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh? It'll have to be on the harbor. Uh, subsequent years. Well, we're going to the casino? <laughs> other part, other side. Oh, the other side. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Yep. So it's 24th? 24th and yep. 25th well, of January. So we would like to know who's oh, yeah. going. I got it on my calendar. We're good. I'm, I'm there. I'll do it. I'll put it for the day after. I'll call out sick. They're going to do fire me. Chris <laughs> 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 is going to go. Chris Okafor is going to go. Great. Actually, yeah. I meant that exactly age. I meant that age. Did I not show up today? <laughs> no. Was I supposed to work today? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> John? I keep saying I want to go, and then it slows, and I don't go. And so I can tell you I went last year as a veteran services officer. It was completely useless. Now that I, I but I went to some HR stuff like hashtag yeah. me too and the, yeah. and the workplace was one of the seminars. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of value that I took out of there for, mm -hmm. for this position. So mm -hmm. I took a bunch of local classes up in Franklin County when I first got on the board mm -hmm. six or seven years ago. So a lot of that, you know, a lot of the information that more more pertains to out this way, uh, rather the than the 25th of the Saturday. Anyway. Yeah. Then the yeah. big city stuff. You know. right. If you're interested in LED street lights, they always have electrical. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. They have programmable. Yeah. Actually, there's a few more reflectors <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah. John would love the trade show. Oh yeah. We'd yeah. you in there. You'd never come You'd out. You'd have a bag of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So one, of the, one of the things that we have to decide is uh, that there's going to be a de designate from the town of Hadley for the business meeting mm -hmm. and then for the Maya uh, business meeting as well. We need to designate that person. Last year was choice for both. Mm -hmm. year before it was me for both? Yeah. You guys can sign me up for both. It seems like it'll have to I'm going anyway, but uh, you know, if somebody else wants to go, yeah, or has an interest, then. I need a formal vote on that because they'll, they'll ask me. Make a motion to appoint Christian Stanley as the designate for the business leaves. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Just bring all the information back to us. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, you USB drive. <laughs> you just need to ask David when he can if he wants to go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we uh, want to make sure that we're maximizing our credits for the Maya sponsored workshops. Yeah. So that we get uh, discounts on our uh, liability insurance and property insurance. Some of them are good. Some of them are. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, son. I don't think we've got an agenda for the meeting yet. Yeah, last year I feel like we did a good job of kind of sp spreading yeah. out and mm -hmm. going to various ones. So. Mm -hmm. um, and we also looked at, let's see, let's see if there's an agenda. We also uh, um, decided that we would track down certain vendors mm -hmm. for last year, it was the Green Communities uh, mm -hmm. folks. Um, mm -hmm. So we may want to think about uh, how best to maximize our time with the vendors. Maybe when the um, agenda comes out, we can yeah, when we get the line designate up. where we want to go. Yeah, let's see if they've got something. 
If you play your cards right, Joyce, I'll pick you up again. <laughs> I can stand out in front of you. You're <laughs> going to Joyce's house. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It doesn't look like they have a full agenda yet. They do have the business meeting on January 25th at 10.15 to 11.50. That's up. Mm -hmm. Then there's the women's luncheon too. Right, that's on, on Friday. Friday. I think we do a long men to come. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you go to MMA.org and uh, search around on the uh, annual meeting, it does eventually bring you to a detailed agenda and it does um, tell you which uh, workshops are sponsored by Maya. Is the keynote speaker up yet? Let's see. Anna Maria Chavez. Chavez. That was last year. This is 2019, 2020. Oh, you are so right. Sorry. See? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so to be to be clear, remember. the 41st annual, and then you scroll down farther, and they still have her up. <clears throat> it's all on the same page, but they have not changed. And they that. may not have announced it yet, because that happens sometimes too. I thought it was Mike Birbiglia. No. Like no, we had the mountain climber. Mountain climber? Keynote uh, addressed by Deborah Lee James, uh, former Air Force Secretary. Uh, so that will be Friday morning, 9.30. Who's the leader of the United States military? So let's share her experience with this strategies for not just surviving, surviving but thriving in difficult public environments. Our government leaders face constant change criticism and conflict. Sure. Okay. All right, so it's all on MMA.org. Okay. okay. All right, good. Thank I can that, yeah. All right, so planning for fiscal year 2021. We have our agenda countdown here to the annual town meeting which seems like we just had our special town meeting, but looking ahead. We didn't have any money either. Yeah. Did we ever get that certified Yeah, yet? free cash. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But we're working on the stuff now. Oh my God. Okay. So, so the only thing that's uh, different from most years is the uh, town administrator's budget presentation is February 19th. We usually have that uh, the week before, but uh, the entire board will not be there that week. So I think it's appropriate to wait. Where are we going? Oh, somebody out of town? Yeah, somebody's going to be out of town. Oh. Oh, I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will be returning on the 17th. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that calendar looks good. All right, the calendar looks good. Then your priorities, um, just to help us guide the thinking. The uh, uh, the priorities are to uh, prepare budgets within divisions, like we've done in years past, and I've get, given a little series of. Uh, the divisions here, so um, like functions would work together with the resources that are available in order to coordinate and maximize efficiencies and synergies between departments. So, for example, fire, police, uh, building inspectors, ambulance, all those public dispatch, all those dis uh, public safety functions would coordinate their budgets rather than building budgets within silos. Um, that has served the town well, if you want to continue with that policy. Do you get, have any opinion about that, the, uh, by divisions versus departments? It used to be. I'm yeah, I don't know what it used to be like, but it seemed to work well yeah. last year. It was every man for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forces consolidation, which is good. Yeah. And then uh, the next um, uh, priority of the select board would be to enhance public works operations as the budget schedule established by the select board several years ago. So in FY 2021, we would be working on public works. Next year, the education, the 
following year would be public safety, and then the year after that would be human services, culture, and recreation. Um, we're trying to step up our game for the town in order to meet the challenges of people needing services. We know we can't do it all at once, um, but you've established this rotating priority list so that we can focus our efforts on each major function of government uh, year by year. Yeah, I think it looks like everything we've talked about. Yeah. All right, our next goal would be to transition to a single town meeting to set the operational budget. This will mean that the budget season is no longer a 12-month exercise, but a six-month exercise, thus freeing up your department heads to focus in on higher order functions. Uh, it'll be It'll be a challenge to do this, to make this transition, but I think we have the opportunity now to do that. Um, and uh, it will require a certain amount of discipline um, and coordination, but it's worth the effort. It's so ongoing all the time anyway, so. And how will that work? It just, just talking this through, um, if we set this as a goal, the state budget's never gonna be approved by the time we have our annual town meeting. So we'll still have to make an adjustment in the fall for that, most likely, correct? Well, it depends. Uh, it is part. true that that last part of the state budget is uh, uh, conducted behind closed doors, out of public, no minutes, no public records. Uh, <coughs> conference committee is a time when there's a lot of discussion between the House and the Senate in order to come up with a consensus budget, which was then presented to the governor. Mm -hmm. And in that um, four or five, even six week period, uh, the numbers can change a lot. Yeah, I've seen a $100,000 swing to the bad. Um, but given that that's the exception rather than the rule, mm -hmm. I think that you have an opportunity to set your tax rate far earlier. I was at the Department of Revenue uh, website looking at tax rates for FY20 this current year, and there were towns that were setting your tax rates in the first week of July, yeah. All right. well before the state budget was finalized. Mm -hmm. I'd very much like to talk with those towns and find out how they did that. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. no, I, I like it in concept. I'm just thinking mm -hmm. about how it how works, it works in reality you know, <laughs> with that unknown. It makes a big difference to our budget. Too. But it kind of makes a difference that this might be the time mm -hmm. where the snafu here with the um, budget and not getting it certified right now yeah. um, may be an opportunity. Yes, we have some monies that need to go back into other budgets that we borrow from to balance the to budget balance for this year. Sure. But there should be some monies left over to carry us through to the annual town meeting, correct? Mm -hmm. right, right. So, you mm -hmm. know, that again might be our benefit this year. Yeah. Where it might get us on the path of doing the annual town meeting and having the cushion yeah. that we never had before. Mm -hmm. And at some point not to just a history. The fall town meeting and rejiggering of the budgets was the anomaly, mm -hmm. and then the anomaly became the norm. Mm -hmm. And so it's a way to kind of break the ship again. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So okay. I'm not saying that we won't have a fall town meeting. We could uh, certainly do the operational budget at the annual and then the capital on the, the mm -hmm. fall we budget. All, mm -hmm. We always had a fall town meeting, but it was just to balance the previous year's budget. It was it was what quick. it was for, it was quick. Yeah. You know, if snow and ice, if we have a real bad winter and snow and ice goes $300,000 over, that, that's where you need to vote that money in. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if we have it, mm -hmm. or if we need to raise it, or however we need to. Yeah, but we'll have a good idea when, yeah. when this money ever gets in here, we'll know what we have to um, play yeah. with. So we're talking about a goal to be right. achieved. Yeah, you know, right. No, that's good. Uh, one of the um, features of achieving this goal is going to be focusing on revenues and enhancing the revenues 
um, for this current fiscal year so that we can use those excess surf, uh, uh, revenues as free cash in the following years. So I'll be working with the department heads in order to make sure that our fees are set appropriately and that, um, that the processes for changing those fees are followed. A goal that has been mentioned uh, is hiring a planner or an engineer. This is something that we're going to try. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, we, were talking, yeah, we were talking about the regional planner with uh, Pioneer Valley planning. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know where where are they with that? Have you received anything from Pioneer Valley planning on that? Or? Well, they do have regional planning, which uh, the uh, planning department utilizes. But uh, for the most part, uh, that regional planning is focusing in on bylaw amendments an expansion to the bylaws. So, for example, we're working with Pioneer Valley Planning Commission to update our large-scale solar bylaw and best management practices manual. They just finished working on the uh, definitions. I think they're still working on the definition section for the uh, zoning bylaw. We just finished the adult use marijuana um, uh, uh, bylaw. And the MS4 too. Right? And, and MS4, yeah. thank you, the stormwater. I knew there was forgetting something. So to, the, to a large extent, that kind of planning is, is driven by events. Yeah. Um, if we could get to a place where we're actually planning economic development and thinking about Route 9 as a, an economic engine and thinking about the kinds of incentives that may be available uh, for uh, improvements to infrastructure, uh, employment, housing, um, all these things that we know that we need, uh, we just don't have the time to work on or expertise within the house to work on. What about the conversation that the planning board said that they felt that they were not going to live forever and wanted to? Yeah, that was. You focus? Yes, that's what this, we're talking. This is a different planner, from what I'm it's, hearing him say. It's, <laughs> that's <laughs> where that's where you probably get to having a planning department is there's a yeah. lot of possible functions. So, but yeah, this would be a little bit of all these things. I think is what we envision, but mm -hmm. just have somebody in that role that you, can. You need to start somewhere. Right? Yeah, yeah. Help with some of the planning board issues. You know, keep that institutional knowledge, but also help with all these things in town that we want to do, but there's nobody to, to kind of execute yeah. them. Yeah. And the planning board will continue to exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not wanting to replace them. It's just yeah. this role help out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the planning board, so the existence of the planning board is guaranteed by Mass General Law. So. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they, they brought it to us. Uh, you know, right. the amount of work they do for free right now the next generation isn't going to. Yeah. No. It's like our volunteer fire department mm -hmm. practically doesn't exist anymore because all of us guys are Yeah, that was actually retiring yeah. that was one thing I was gonna ask about is, you know, even though public safety isn't this year, you know, with the fire and those kind of things, are there is there anything there we should be looking at? Probably both. I think you know, you just know that it seems like there are a lot of calls, a lot of work and don't want to overwork staff too much on all those things. All right, so moving right along with the planning transitions in several key departments. Um, the COLA increases to, to be discussed at a future uh, meeting. Now we have Mr. O'Connor who uh, can help us uh, navigate that issue. Uh, and I've got some information that I need to get, get to you. I'll get to you a little later than Friday. Um, coordinating the completion of the three uh, building projects and making each of those operational, which includes making sure that we have an adequate maintenance plan so that these buildings are kept in good nick. Um, then coordinating with the CPA to develop strategies for the Russell School and the old Goodwin Memorial Library building so that those properties can be productive 
or if they're not going to be productive, then they can be uh, some other uh, outcome can be imagined. And then something that's not uh, on here is no general override. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. Good with that. Seems full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I've forgotten yeah. something. Yeah, that seems enough for us to be thinking about this next year. Yeah, I think this is enough. So, do you need us to vote on this? Or? Yes, I'd like to take this to the department head meeting mm -hmm. next week and mm -hmm. make sure everybody understands. And after board docs, I just want to be respectful. I know David hasn't been able to make it. Did you get any feedback from him or? Hear any comments from him about it? Uh, I have not, and we're going to be holding a tri board meeting next week, so if uh, there has to be any amendments okay. to all of that, that's an opportunity for us to okay. have that all hashed out. All right, then I'll make a motion that we um, move forward with this plan. Second. Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. That really helps the uh, uh, plan for the FY21 budget. Yeah. Thanks for putting that together. Uh, do we want to do town administrator report? I believe that's all we have left on our agenda. Right. So just moving through it very quickly, it looks like the building projects are coming along. It looks like a lot of them are going to be completed in pretty much in the same month. I'm like looking at June for both the library and the senior center and possibly no later than the end of August for the fire substation. That we're ahead of that. You're ahead of that, okay. We're not in June. Yeah, yeah senior center should be May mm -hmm. occupancy. Uh, late yeah, April. I, I've, I've been told that there's a request for an extension. But, but it's that not be that long. From beginning of April to end of April, basically. Yeah, so we're talking about final completion. Okay. Not substantial. Okay, not substantial. Right. Okay. Um, North Hadley Village Hall sale, we have to have a conservation commission vote, which is um, required by state regulation and all that before we can petition the, the general court. And that meeting is December 10th, next Tuesday. I shall be in attendance. Uh, marijuana update. Um, uh, we received notice from the Cannabis Control Commission that the Heirloom Collective is about to receive their state permit. The town has 60 days to respond. We to coordinate with uh, the various departments to see how well they're doing in terms of corresponding. And it looks like right now they do not comply with our local zoning. Specifically, they don't have a special permit from the planning board. So given that we have 60 days to respond, um, scheduling this for select board review on January 15th to give them the opportunity to get uh, all of the required permits in hand. Um, the Affordable Housing uh, Direct Local Technical Aid Study Grant, uh, they have a report which will be reviewed uh, in-house here on December 11th. And I think that's at five o'clock. Um, they need to get this done by December 31st, so this will be our last opportunity to work on the affordable housing analysis and report for the, and, uh, the strategy for the town. Uh, the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Grant, uh, we've rescheduled the stakeholder meeting now for January 7th, 2020 in order to solicit information from Hadley stakeholders as to the natural hazard, hazards mitigation issues that may be associated with climate change. So save that date, Tuesday, January 7th. And we'll set up a, a place for them to hold that. Okay. Capital asset study is in its final phases, almost done. Uh, the solar grant, we have completed the solar grant uh, and produced a best practices guide and its model solar bylaw. Uh, Howsoever, because of changing regulations under the Massachusetts SMART program, which is the Solar Massachusetts Renewable Target Program, um, we're going to have to revisit this issue in the spring because there's a December 31st uh, divide with the DLTA grant 
uh, we will be asking you uh, sometime in early January to sign a letter to renew our DLTA grant to continue working on this project. Um, so that's coming up. Greenfield Dichester, other big issues. Route 9 widening update as well as the Bay Road Bridge uh, replacement. I've uh, reached out to Mass DOT and asked for a uh, uh, stakeholders meeting on this. They uh, uh, supposedly have finished their 75% complete plans for the Route 9 widening project and uh, it's time for us to do a check-in with, with them to make sure that we're doing what we need in order to uh, well, the Bay Road is not even until 2021, so we've got time on that one. Yeah, but if you look at that chart there, Bay Road Bridge and Route 9 widening are going to happen at the same time. We and asked them not to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's and part of the last this. meeting. I asked them to try to fast track it if they could mm -hmm. and see if they could put some kind of incentives in a contract to get that bridge done before they do it in my Oh, I love Absolutely. Yeah, so we want to maximize east-west traffic during the construction uh, projects, so we want to make sure that both projects are not happening. Do they have a date on that meeting again? Uh, no, I called them just before Thanksgiving, and, and uh, so I'll uh, remind them that we're very eager to have that, that conversation. Did they rent an office right here in the night? Who, Mass DOT? Yeah. Uh, not aware of it. Oh, I see a truck there all the time. There must still be negotiations with the landowners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Senator Conifer is meeting with Mass DOT on the 9th and sent out that email. So okay. maybe we can add yeah. that to her c concerns to speak with them about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and we just finished that. The revenues uh, for October look good. November will. Uh, November will report shortly. Um, uh, financial management team update. Uh, so we need to um, meet uh, fairly soon to talk about the enterprise fund administrative charges. Um, but I also want to make sure that you understand that I've asked Mr. O'Connor to be part of the financial management team because so many of our the financial planning issues involve personnel. I'm happy that he's uh, eager to help out with that. Um, all right, so we've submitted the tax recapitulations uh, uh, to Mass DOT. They've given us a couple of questions, but we've been able to fill those. And free cash certification, we're going to fast track that so that we can get that done as quickly as possible. Um, and we met with, uh, we're meeting this week to finalize the agreement for the new accounting service, and we have that four year uh, vote on the ready on December 11th. And then we have uh, ballot votes coming up on December 19th. Um, February 4th, the budgets and articles are due. February 19th, I'll be presenting the FY21 budget. March 3rd is Super Tuesday for the presidential primary. March 4th, April 14th is annual town elections, and May 7th is the annual town meeting. Are there any questions? The only question I was going to ask is regarding uh, Mass DOT and the snow removal. Yes. We so did send them a letter, but did you mention to me that they got back to us about that? They acknowledged that they had received the letter that uh, it's our understanding that uh, Mass DOT promised last year that they were going to maintain their sidewalks in the town of Hadley, Maine, keeping them free of snow and ice. Um, I yeah. talked to the district. Um, um, uh, superintendent there, he said, well, we might have been a little hasty in making that, that they will draft some sort of response. So we will get a formal response from that. Well, it looks like they did the bridge and made it to cross path road today. I saw did that. They? I saw oh, that. Oh, they did? Okay. Yeah. I noticed that they had it. I, I just heard they were out there, so I just had to drive by. <laughs> That's probably been in the past, before they'd be halfway down the hill and stopped. <laughs> before they couldn't even get the machine on the bridge because yeah. it was too big. Yeah. 
So this is a bigger issue than Hadley. I mean, no. if, they're, if they're building sidewalks in towns and then expecting the towns to pick up the maintenance on the sidewalk, this is going to well, be a regional statewide issue. That's just state, state now. You know that. I, I, have, I have no problem with them building the sidewalks. As long as they build them big enough to get the equipment out to make it easier for the towns to maintain them. And I know a lot of other towns and cities do not clean their sidewalks. They, you know, some of them never have. But we've got property. We own three corners here, so we still got to maintain this. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. I didn't want to release the floodgates on that, but yeah, just oh, yeah, 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 just to uh, yeah. mention that. So well, it's it, ongoing. It's no it's not over. Everybody yeah. knows this. Everybody's yeah. talking. About yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then can we actually add that? I mean, I know um, Senator Comerford, the intent is to talk about the Route 9 widening and, and yeah. all of that, but I think this certainly dovetails into that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that they said they commissions have been made and broken is important for that discussion to take place as well. Yeah, same as regional school transportation. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> So just who wants to reply to this email, David? Are you going to reply to her, to uh, this request from Senator Comerford about Mass DOT with these issues? Um, it doesn't sound like this is an invitation for us to go to the meeting, but uh, no, she just wants talking points. Talking points. Can you forward me the email? Yeah, I'll forward Senator. it to you right now. Right. Before Thank you. Before I can forward it. And her meeting is probably in Boston. Was it Boston? Yeah, it doesn't say where it is or what time it is. Yeah, I think it said in that letter. That was last week yeah. or two weeks ago? Yeah, I just got one today. Oh, you just got one Yeah, yeah. I didn't read today. She okay. had sent one. She was meeting with the DOT okay. like a week or two ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we have any other things to cover? You know, I, along with that, you know, have her put a bug in her ear about that Bay Road Bridge mm -hmm. being done before we're not. I thought that was on the list. Yeah. Right. It's on the list. Mm -hmm. Any other things before we go to announcements? I have something. Yes. Um, <clears throat> due to the snowstorm, there was a little mix up in getting something submitted in time. So I'm asking you all to take up an item for the Winners Farmers Market at the Hampshire Mall. Last year, you had Stony Brook Cider come in. Mm -hmm. Um, for a farmer's winery to permission to sell at a farmer's market, and they're asking to renew. The first market is on Saturday. Um, I'm hoping that y'all <coughs> would be willing to take this up um, and maybe vote on it tonight and let them go ahead and sell at the next one. Do we have any issues with it? We had no complaints last year. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. And they did change the name of it from the Amherst Farmer's Market to now it's the Hampshire Winter Farmer's Market, so it no longer says the Amherst. Yeah. Winter Farmer's Market at the, in Hadley, so they changed the name. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Any further discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Any other, anything else? Any announcements? I just have one, I have a little story. Okay. <laughs> it's not really, it's not that, not big of a story. So Saturday I meandered over to uh, the Hadley Guard Center, I picked up a uh, wreath and couple of things and I had a chance I said oh Brittany was there I hadn't seen her in a long time how are you the whole nine yards and Tom waited on me and got done with my purchase and went home and then picked up the newspaper to find out oh my god this will probably be the last Christmas I'll be seeing them there because um, they have now are, are going to be transferring their ownership to um, someone else and um, I just want to say I'm sorry. I didn't know before I got there that uh, this was happening. But they have been great community people, um, always giving us wreaths. And he says, and I mean, that was the other comment. He says, oh, yeah, we'll be getting some wreaths to you for the town hall. Um, and they've done this forever. They've always given wreaths to the town hall and the church. And um, you know, they've just been really good community people. And certainly will be missed. They're not said they're not going anywhere. So. Maybe we can tap them for some committees now if they're not going to be But anyway, it's always been a pleasure to have work with them and have them in town. So um, thank them for their business and um, really having a nice, upstanding uh, business in town. And I think uh, you've got uh, an announcement. 
just came through the wire. Oh yeah, we just got a five thousand dollar grant from Maya. We just got awarded today for um, a traffic safety trailer. We got one several years ago. The DPW got one and we kind of stole it. It's been in our lot forever. So we're going to give you that one back. Or you don't want it? We want the new one. You can have the old yeah. one. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the quote, the quote that I got, it was, it was supposed to be a ten thousand dollar grant. Um, and the quote that I got was a little under that, and uh, unfortunately only approved half of it. So I'm going to have to do a little wheeling and dealing with the uh, with the uh, the place we're getting this stuff from. Maybe shave some of the items or pull some money from operations budget to, to fulfill it. But uh, it's going to give us a it'll be a brand new trailer and cones and barricades and all kinds of stuff that we can use because we just we run short on that stuff. Things break. Things, you know, cones get run over. Cones get lost. So it's a good replacement. Do you have barrels in there? What's that? Barrels. No barrels in there. I know Chris was kind of upset. He came to town and we had no barrels. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. That was one of the reasons why I wanted it until I found out how much they cost. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got cones in our barrels. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Anybody else online? Stuff a truck and stuff a cruiser. What were the dates for? Oh yeah. Um, let's see. I don't have the email. I just ran over that. <laughs> While you're looking at that, I'll just thank the DPW for clearing the roads and yes. making them safe here in Hadley in this snowstorm. It was. I'm always a ticket for granted, and then I leave Hadley and I'm like. These roads aren't as good as ever in Hadley. I go over the line. I'm like, what happened? Yeah. These roads. So they do a great job. So thank you. Yeah, all those working late nights and early mornings. And I'd like to amplify that I've got many, many phone calls from people who very much appreciate the commission mm -hmm. of the I've, I've always heard that. Yeah. yeah. There's is that travel through People from out of town will comment and say, oh, you're so lucky you live there. I just crossed the line. What a mess on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Damon Road for a hell hole. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to call anybody out. So uh, we are doing, the police and fire departments are doing our annual stuff a, stuff a cruiser, stuff a fire truck event, uh, collecting toys. Um, it will be, we're doing two different events. One will be December 7th uh, at the public safety complex from 10 a.m. till noon. And then we're going to do another one December 14th, and we're going to partner with UMass as well. That one's going to be at Lowe's. Uh, so we're going to kind of take over their parking lot. They've been great uh, partners with us for stuff like this. So we're, um, we're going to be doing one over there. And we also have a couple other events that we're working on, um, raising money for Special Olympics and things like that. But we'll put all that information out as soon as we set the dates. I usually had uh, the drug drop at Lowe's, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we did that. We actually did them at Hopkins, I think, the last, two, last two times. But we always have the drop box in the lobby, so you can come right in there. Okay, great. Uh, so we were going to do an executive session tonight uh, regarding litigation strategy. So I don't know if somebody can make a motion to move into that. Okay. My, my screen now is blank, so it's okay. not going to be mine. I'll make a motion that we think of it. <clears throat> to executive session for the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss strategy with respect to litigation. Um, if that open meeting would have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the public body, and the chair so declares. Um, so again, this is about litigation strategy. Can I have a second? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. As chair of the Hadley Select Board, I state that the board has moved and seconded to enter into executive session, and then I state that discussing the matter in open session will have an adverse effect on the town of Hadley. We will take a roll call vote, and we will not readjourn in public session. So, Phil? Yes. Moskovitz? Yes. Kagan? Yes. Stanley? Yes. Chargo? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Perfect. Good night. Good night.